Goeie dag Raad 5 en baie welkom in jou Marks sy Afrikaanse klas. Ek gaan jou voorstel aan een nieuwe moeikie met die naam Stompie. I'm going to introduce you to a new friend called Stompie. I present Stompie. Stompie is the face for a concept that's going to help you understand Afrikaans sentence structure so much better. Right, so Stompie, let's start with explaining to you what each letter in the STOMPI acronym really means. Let's kick off with STOMPI by looking at sentences in the present tense. Remember, STOMPI is your best Afrikaans buddy. Why do we need to know all about STOMPI? Well, knowing about STOMPI will improve your creative writing. You will understand parts of speech in Afrikaans so much better. You'll be able to put sentences correctly in the past and future tense. You'll be able to change sentences correctly into questions and commands. You will also be able to put them correctly in the active and passive voice and so much more. Let's take a look at two sentences to illustrate my point as to the importance of Stompy. Nummer 1. Die sien skop die sokkerbal vandag. Hart in die tuin. Nummer 2, die seenskop vandag die sokkerbal, hard in die tuin. Translated, the boy kicks the soccer ball hard in the garden today. But remember, word order is not the same in English and in Afrikaans. That's why we need Stompy to help us to understand the word order in Afrikaans. You'll notice I moved the time word vandag, which means today, to two different positions in the sentence. Now, which one makes sense? Well, if you read both of them, it makes perfect sense. However, only sentence two is correct according to the rules in Afrikaans. But why? Why is vandaag only in the right place in sentence two? Well, Stompy will shed some light on it. There is Stompy. Stompy is basically an acronym, which means it consists of letters and each letter represents a concept. So S subject, V1, verb 1, T the time word, O the object, M for the manner in which an action takes place, P is the place at which it takes place, and verb 2 is your second verb. Now, please pay attention. In a present tense sentence, you will not have a verb 2. We will only have one main verb at verb 1 in the beginning of a sentence just after the subject. And also you'll notice I put a cross to the I in Stompy is because it's the infinitive and we're not dealing with that just yet. That's only for grade 7. Well, now we have had a brief introduction to what Stompy is. Let's delve a little deeper into what a subject is. What is a verb? What is an object? What is a time word? Etc. Etc. Are you ready? Let's go. The S in Stompy is first and the S stands for a subject. That's why the subject will always be first in Afrikaans sentence. How do we know what the subject is? It's usually the beginning of the sentence. It's usually what the sentence is all about. And if you ask a who or what question, it will be your answer. Let's look at the sentence. Die sien skop vandag die sokkerbal hard in die tuin. Now if you ask the who or what, wie or what, if you ask wie skop vandag die sokkerbal hard in die tuin, you ask who kicks the soccer ball hard in the garden today, your answer will be the boy of die sien. So, die sien is this one's subject. Immediately following the subject, we have V1, verb 1. For now, we're doing a present tense sentence that has one verb directly after the subject. In this case, we look at the doing word, what is the doen woordje, what is the verb woordje, and it is skop or kick. Immediately after verb 1, we will always have the time word. It's any word that tells you if it's present tense, past tense, future tense, but at the moment we're only looking at present tense sentences. So it will be time words like, for example, vandag. The time word is also the answer to the when question. When did the boy kick the soccer ball hard in the garden? 
today. Wanneer het die seun die sokerbal hard in die tuin geskop? Vandag. Then we have the object. It's also an answer to the who or what questions. For example, wat skop die seun? Die seun skop the soccer ball. What is the boy kick? The boy kicks the soccer ball. Manner is the way in which the action takes place. The boy didn't just kick the ball, he kicked it hard. So it's the answer to the how question. How did the boy kick the ball in the garden today? Hard. Who is this year? The soccer ball. Lastly, we have the place. Where is all of this? It's happening in the sentence taking place. Where is the boy kicking the soccer ball today? It's the answer to the where question. In the time, in the garden. You also notice that the place will always have a great position in it. For example, in the time, in the garden. So that's just something interesting there. You will always find a preposition when it relates to a place. Let's just recap everything we learned by looking at the sentence again. Here it is in its most basic form. Die sien skop die sokkerbal. Subject, verb, object. It is possible to have a subject and a verb alone. For example, ek eet, I eat. But usually we have a subject, verb and an object. You'll notice that the time word, the place and the manner are extra trimmings that gives us extra information about the subject, the verb, and the object. Let's take a look. The CN answers the V or what question. Skop is your doing word. In the soccer ball also answers the V what question. What skop the CN? The soccer ball. Come on, set a tight word by. Let's add a time word. Vandaag, die seenskop, vandaag die sokkerbal. Here are examples of present tense time words. Elke dag, every day, no or now, vandaag or today, tans or currently. And we add the manner in which the boy kicks the soccer ball. He kicks it very hard. Who skop by die bal? Hy skop die bal hard. And lastly, we'll add the place. Where is this taking place? Waar gebeur dit? Waar skop die seen vandag die sokkerbal hard? Hy skop het hard in die tuin, in the garden. Now, like I said, we don't use the verb to at the moment because we were the present tense sentence, so we don't use the infinitive. Word order in a sentence differs from English to Afrikaans. And the only way you're going to get this right is to know what Stompy is all about. In your activity for this week, I will give you a sentence. And I'm going to ask you to break down the sentence into its parts. I want you to identify what is the subject, what is the verb, what's the object. Now remember, not all sentences will have a time word. Not all sentences will have a place where it takes place or the manner in which it takes place. Just a little hint here. Identify the verb. That's your first thing. Then, what's directly before the verb? That's your subject. And you just ask the who or what question, you'll find the object. If there's a when question, you'll find the time word. If there's a how question, you'll find the manner and the where is the place. But remember, not every sentence has a time where it has the manner, has the place. So I want to see if you can play detective and identify each part of the sentences I give you. I hope that you have fun doing so. Well, this is bye from me and Stompy for now.